For this example, we're back in the Macbeth scene. We're going to talk about loops. And uh, loops are awesome. I mean, audio loops, things that could repeat, whether they're uh, acoustic, organic, or digital. And they're really, really useful. But I, I, I can't stress enough what loops do to an emotional arc of a scene. And the purpose of loops is to have things that kind of uh, repeat and keep an underlying bed or an underlying beat. And in the most important thing in that is the word underlying. <laughs> that is that I can go through and use this loop that's here to the Chinese grooving perk loop. And I can have this playing throughout this entire thing. And what it does is it has the, well, it's a sense of smoothing out the ups and downs of the emotional elements of music. And we have to be very careful with them. If you want something in a scene that is very non-dynamic, very static, something that perhaps in suspense, um, then you want loops. Loops are very, very useful for keeping that um, kind of what's going to happen without giving us giving anything away. But if you want something that's an emotional ride, loops are almost always the wrong choice. So here's the Macbeth scene. By now, you've probably seen various versions of this many times, but listen to it anew, just the drama, no music, of what's happening in this scene, and feel what just the scene is giving you. Sapt, why have you left the chamber? Hath he asked for me? No, you not, he has. We will proceed no further in this business. He hath honored me of late, and I have bought golden opinions from all sorts of people. They will be worn in their newest gloss, not cast aside so soon. Was the hope a drunk wherein you dressed yourself? Had it slept since? And wakes it now to look so green and pale at what it did so freely? <laughs> From this time, such I account thy... So there's a lot of stuff. A lot of motion and emotion in this scene. Ups and downs, back and forth, tit for tat, check and checkmates, and these kinds of things. Watch what happens when I engage this loop. This is the loop by itself, just so you can hear it. Separate. Pretty subtle, pretty cool. It's a cool loop. Here we go. He hath almost supped. Why have you left the chamber? Hath he asked for me? No, you not. He has. We will proceed no further in this business. He hath honored me of late, and I have bought golden opinions from all sorts of people. They will be worn in their newest gloss, not cast aside so soon. Was the hope a drunk wherein you dressed yourself? Hath it slept since? And wakes it now to look so green and pale. You get it, right? We have time compression, which is super, super good. We love time compression. But the emotion of this scene is so boring now. Nothing's happening. We've stripped from the actors their performance emotionally. And it is now a flat line, mostly. I mean, they're still, they're, they're pretty good. But um, let's try a different loop. See if it's just maybe that loop. Let's try this one. How oh, now? What news? He hath almost supped. Why have you left the chamber? Hath he asked for me? No, you not. He has. We will proceed no further in this business. He hath honored me of late. And I have bought golden opinions from all sorts of people. They will be worn in their newest gloss, not cast aside so soon. Was the hope a drunk wherein you dressed yourself? Same thing. It just strips it away. Let's try a different one. I just want to give you lots of examples of this because a lot of filmmakers make this mistake and drop loops into a very important scene only to find, to feel like, well, why is this scene, it is so much better when we shot it. Well, that's because it was better without the music you've chosen. I will do all that would become a man who dares do more is none. What beast was it then that made you break this enterprise to me? You just do it. Then you were a man. And to be more than what you were, you would be so much more than man. No time, nor place did then adhere, and yet you would make both. They have made themselves. And that their fitness now does unmake you? just completely strips the scene of all the emotion. It's just, you're waiting for, you know, some 
suspense thing to happen, which is not what this scene is about as all. Another great example of how music is the giant thumb that mashes it into its own intent. But emotionally, even if this were the right loop for this scene, you would still be in a flat line. One more example. Let's try this one. Same new section here. In fact, this is such a great example where she goes kind of a little hysterical. Art and desire? Wouldst thou have that which thou esteemed the ornament of life? And live a coward in thine own esteem, letting I dare not wait upon I want the book out of the habit! Pretty peace. Right? Now check it out without the music. Same scene. That really, really <laughs> passionate scene. Check it out. Art and desire? Wouldst thou have that which thou esteemed the ornament of life? And live a coward in thine own esteem, letting I dare not wait upon I want the book out of the habit. Pretty peace. Right? Way more emotion in that. Like, wow. As opposed to this loop where you drop the loop in there and it's like da 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 and it literally crushes the emotion in this scene. Oh. 